I'm a rose and lugubrious. I'm a let the oozy spit. Turn his face into gooey shit. Bitch, bitch, I'm a Hey buddies, w w w w welcome to Munchie's blissome yet lugubrious paradoxical sludge. Premier source of vintage bike horn sounds and estrogen enhancing drugs on the internet. <laughs> Today I'm sad. My dog just shot himself, my grandpa was run over, and my fucking VCR didn't record that episode of the Golden Girls I wanted to watch. What the fuck, dude? I, <laughs> I don't even know if I can record. I'm so fucking distraught with real and genuine emotions. I, I could fucking fly off the handle at any moment. The worst part is earlier today I was minding my own fucking business at my local Pizza Hut, writing for my Not A Joke real blog, documenting my chakra movements and the position of my spirit's energy moon, when this fake ass dumpy gamer girl walks up to me and asks me what I'm drinking. <laughs> I fucking snap and break down crying, literal pus foaming and running from my mouth with such intense velocity, I'm surprised I stayed on the fucking ground. Fucking breeders, fucking KFC sex sluts, god damn it, you normies can't leave us psychedelic truth farmers a fucking alone, can you? Can you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh how I loathe you fucking cowards. You should all know that such a neon spirit warrior like myself doesn't have time for such primitive emotions. This depression and isolation? It's baby shit. Infant pleasantries that us high-saturation pyramid rabbi have no patience for. This is not self-deprecation. This is self-obliteration. And from my evaporated theoretical soul corpse, a new concept will emerge. The concept of liking, of liking yourself, yourself and, and being, being cool. cool. My story begins with me and my most naive and embarrassing this youthful ignorance, I believe in wicked fables of undeniable and unspeakable ooze. Yes, buddies, there was a time when I, Munchie Wears Tiny Hats, liked sex so good. All right, now that that scripted segment is over, now I can actually just like uh, talk now. It's like a podcast again. Before, it was like a fucking chore, because I, I read that down like two days ago, and I was like, oh, that's really funny, and then like, I was like weirdly tired today, and then I didn't want to record, because it's hard to read scripts, it's like scary, and uh, it's not very good, and I'm not very good at it. But now, uh, it's it's just talking, I'm good at that, no, I'm not, just kidding, haha. <laughs> A uh, fucking, um, welcome to my fucking, uh, chamber, uh, of secrets. I already said the intro. Why am I saying it again? Don't know. Uh, I ended with me saying sex and then burping and then, like, dying. Uh, so, uh, this is me. I'm reincarnated. Ha <laughs> it's me. Uh, what am I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, okay. So, um, I'm going to tell you about how I defeated depression at age seven. I am a perfect specimen. Hello, I just cut out a huge section of me describing weird personal traits about myself from when I was like 10 or 11, and it was weird, and uh, it doesn't, it shouldn't be on the Procrastinators uh, channel, because uh, they're all my, f all of the fans of the PCP are uh, gross weirdos who would, uh, uh, they're, I hate them, except I don't hate them, I just think they're weird and uh, kind of creepy. But I think they're okay. So uh, when you're listening to this and you and you're like live blogging in the fan chat, then don't be sad. Except you probably should be because you're weird and gross. Uh, yes. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I was a weirdo on Tumblr. I was a weirdo on a Tumblr who liked sex, and I was like, oh, I don't have a girlfriend, and I like sex, and oh, I'm feeling bad. Uh, but uh, then I was like, eh, I don't really feel like that anymore. And uh, it's all because of, I don't remember, but now I don't feel like that. W literally, why am I recording this? 
I actually thought this was a good idea. I have nothing to say. Um. Uh. All right. Well. Uh. Okay. Uh. Here. I'm. I'm. I'm going to abandon that entire topic. Like. Like. I have a. I have a fucking bunch of like note. Note. Notes here. Can, can you fucking hear? I. I have a bunch. Uh, they're gone. They're fucking. They're. They're gone. They're done. I'm. I'm not going to fucking read any more of that shit. It's. Uh, it's. It's worthless. Uh. It was a shitty topic that I don't actually care about. Uh, I just was kind of like I just want to make like kind of like a, a parody I guess of all like the weird uh, overly sentimental gay shit on this channel now, but uh, I actually uh, I uh, don't care anymore. Uh, now I'm uh, the point is the point of that entire story is uh, now I'm happy forever and I'll never be sad ever again. Uh, yes, uh, let's talk about things that uh, people will actually care about. Actually, no. Here, I'm gonna talk about things why I would be sad if I were able to be sad, but I'm not, and I'm. This isn't a. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, I don't like the fact that I'm considered like like. Well, not I'm considered by myself in my brain only, and not by anyone else to be a flat character, and I present myself as a flat character, so I'm I'm not like. Fuck you, Munchie, you fucking bitch. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm a flat character. So basically, like, like all I am presented, presenting myself as in uh, the PCP and basically anywhere on the internet right now is just like like Diet Monkey Jones. Like, like, like I'm, like I'm basically just like a like fucking <laughs> like fucking likes racism like. And, uh, that's, like, sick. That is what I believe, but, uh, also, it's, like, gay. So, not because I don't like that kind of humor, but also, like, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm, like, more complicated than that. I just feel like, like, the other day, I was in wherever I was, and I was talking about whatever I was talking about, which I don't remember. And then I mentioned... Something that I like, which I don't remember what I like, and then everyone was like, "Whoa, you like that?" And I was like, "Fuck yeah, bro!" And then they were like, "Whoa, it's like sick." Uh, th that thing is, uh, it was I forgot, but uh, here I I have a I have a I have a new section of the thing. Um, I'm going to uh here fucking all right, hold on. Let, let me let me fucking uh, uh I'm going to get a dating website. And, uh, fucking, I'm gonna find out where, I'm gonna answer a bunch of questions, personal, deep questions, uh, that will, you'll be able to know how three-dimensional I am. I, I swear I have a personality. I, 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 I fucking please think I'm cool. Alright, I'm gonna cut until I have a dating website open. Alright, 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 I'm, 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 I'm on fucking OkCupid okay and it says, like, oh, I answered a better question, so better calculate your matches. Alright, uh, fucking one of fifteen. How long do you want your relationship to last? All right, fucking, uh, uh, fucking skip this question. All right, these aren't the kind of questions I want. Uh, which word describes you better, carefree or intense? Uh, I'm pretty intense. I don't feel like these are the same thing, though. I feel like they're, like, like carefree or, like, strict. Or like, intense or, like, laid back. I guess that's what carefree is. I don't know. Like, I don't really care about a lot of stuff, but the things that I do care about, I do like a lot. I'm very intense about the things that I like, but I own, like, I'm, like, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, good, I'm glad I recorded this podcast. People are really gonna like it. They're really gonna think I'm cool. They're fu I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Alright, uh, for a carefree, I'll just, I fucking, I guess I'll do intense. Uh, my ideal match. Fucking what? Shut up. So, yes, whatever, fucking, I don't care. Uh, how important is religion slash God in your life? A fucking n none, none. Uh, fucking, do you enjoy discussing politics? Literally kill yourself. Uh, yeah, all right. A uh, fucking, can I get some actual questions, please? Do you smoke? No, I fucking fuck you, digi brony. Ha <laughs> ha, sick. Uh, uh, this is this is going fast. This is going fucking. You're learning so many things about me that are relevant and yeah, that even that matter. Oh, just sick, fucking sick, like sick. Do, how, do you strongly prefer to date someone of your own skin color? <laughs> and, and, and nope, not a racist. All right, uh, fucking. That's not a racist thing to believe, by the way. I I shouldn't have said that. If you there's everyone has their own types and shit, but uh, fucking uh, shit, uh, fuck, kill me. Is uh, astrological sign at all important in the match? 
no. Well, actually, I mean, I kind of like his zodiac signs. I like Homestuck. Uh, so yeah, actually, you know, yeah. Back up. I like. I like. Ad- I like. I like like mystical, like weird shit. Like a. Uh, there's like a fucking. What do you call him? There's a. There's a tarot card reader near my house, and I've always wanted to go there because I like like. Like I know it's all like literally like fake and gay, but I think it's all like interesting and cool. Like I, I like weird like occult stuff. I'm really into Paranormal Activity, the, the movie. I've never seen the movie. I haven't seen, like, anything. I, I don't know anything. Uh, I'm not a me- media guy. I haven't taken any media. I have, like, injected, like, three animes before. That's not even more than four. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, like, like Crystal Ball shit. I look like... I, I like, like, hokey, like, weird, like, obviously fake, like, weird shit, like, astrology a lot of astrology and the, there are stars but i mean like zodiac symbols and like horoscopes and shit uh, fucking it's weird and i like it i like a uh, weird cult spooky religious uh, bullshit uh, it's fucking sick i fucking it's there's gonna be a lot of that in gator guy the comic the gator guy comic would you date someone who's in considerable debt um I don't fucking that's a weird question. I didn't really answer anything that's important, but I guess no. Uh, is jealousy healthy in a relationship? A fucking what? Uh, no. Uh, that's weird. I don't like people who are like in your grill and shit. Would you rather be normal or weird? Weird, obviously. Fucking retarded. <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> Too bad I'm too normal though to be considered weird. <coughs> oh fuck um are you currently employed no i'm a student a student of what student of your ass buddy uh very choose a ro- choose a better romantic activity kissing the paris or kissing the tan of the root fucking what i fucking hate kissing skip if you could you date a person who was really a mashley yeah i'm really messy i have my fucking room like my room's my room's messy i'm not gonna lie it's messy but it's not like, like it's not like gross messy. It's just like everything's in like weird spots. Like it's not like gross. Like like if you walk in, you're going to be like, oh, pee you. Like gross. It gets gross sometimes. But I like I usually like like, like like I'll have like a few dishes around, but they'll almost like they'll never have like food on them. It'll just be like dishes that I have to take down stairs. I live upstairs. I live in an apartment, and I'm upstairs and downstairs is where the kitchen is. That now you can dox me. Ha ha. Lol. Ruin my life. Please don't do that. I was a dub joke. Uh, so I fucking well is yeah. I'm messy. I'm sick. I'm fucking sick. Uh. Do you frequently drink alcohol? No, so, uh, j- j- fucking whoever said, joked in that one, uh, d- whatever the fuck playthrough, uh, d- Rayman? Rayman's not the right thing. Uh, d- Ape Escape, Ape Escape. Was there, like, a, are you drunk? And I was like, uh, no. And then Jesse was like, ah, fucking, you should be, lol. A quote from Jesse, I endorse, I want to kill people. That's what Jesse said. That's what he actually said, guys. Quote him on that. I'm sure he won't get mad. In fact, he won't, lol, because that's what he said. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I've never touched alcohol before. Uh, one time was my mom was like, "Dude, you can like try alcohol if you want." LOL. And I was like, "Dude, that's fucking like a sin. Fuck you." And then I would kill her. Ha ha, sick. Uh, never. I never drank alcohol. That's a. That's not a joke, by the way. I'm literally straight edge. I I would never t- touch a drug in my life. That's not. I'm I'm serious right now, guys. Like like when when someone says like I'm serious over and over, it makes them feel like not serious, right? But like. I'm 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 serious. I I I don't like drugs are scary to me. A dare worked on me. I uh, submit. A uh, fucking next question. Which event sounds most appealing? Sci-fi convention, political convention, musical festival, New Year's in Times Square. Uh none of these particularly would stand out to me. Music festival do they mean what's a music festival? Is that a normal thing that normal, normal people say? I've never heard of that before. I mean, I probably have. I'm probably just a gay. Uh, New Year's Eve in Times Square sounds pretty cool. I like New York. I like to I like to be... I like cities. I like metropolitan areas. I don't like fucking rural, rural places. I, I, I like cities because, first of all, it's aesthetic as fuck. 
when when you look out the window in at the night sky and you don't see any stars and it's like there's a bunch of air pollution and you can see like fucking like street lights and fucking cars going it's fucking sick but i just like seeing weird people i like seeing people of all shapes and sizes i'm a people guy I don't go out of my house a lot, but I genuinely like people. I like to talk to people, and I think they're cool. And I, like, I, when I am outside, I do actually, like, interact with a lot of people, and I try and go out of my way to, like, be friendly and stuff, and it's nice. Uh, I'm not a recluse. I like to be around people. I like to see people, and I fucking, uh, sick. And, uh, yeah, so that's why I like cities. It's aesthetic as fuck. It's cool. There's a bunch of stuff to do in cities. In ruler, rural places, you have to, like, f- like fuck cows and shit, and it's, like, gay. Uh, but I really like cities uh, for all the reasons described I just described. And uh, I think I like uh, them. I like uh, to set things on fire. Also, it's really easy to play Pokemon Go in cities because there's, like, a bunch of Pokestops. Uh... I like New York a lot because it's like a big city. It's like the city of the cities. So here's a Times Square. Yes, I like all the cities. So I'm going to move to Los Angeles probably when I am a big boy. Big boy. Uh, do you like scary movies? Yes, I love scary movies. I love scary things of any time. See my uh, uh, my last request, my the question that I was at later, or and by later I mean before later is the right what I meant to say. Uh, I like occult, paranormal things, and that ties into scary things a lot. Uh, fucking, I really like scary movies, but particularly though, because I, I a lot of the time scary movies are like gross and stuff, and I like gross things. I, I don't like to really look at gross things, even though, like, I'm known for, like, pissing in cups and shit, but that's, like, I, I don't do that ever when I'm not on a podcast, and I just do it because it's, like, funny, and then I immediately go wash it out and, like, wa- like wash my hands and stuff. Uh, yes, uh, I like scary movies. Uh, to fucking, I like to be, I, I like to feel emotions, and I feel them a lot, except I'm never sad because I'm never depressed. Haha, <laughs> sick. Uh, I'm, I actually, I accidentally answered no on this thing. All right, that's fine. Uh. Are you an inspiring uh, actor, artist, writer, or other creative type? Uh, yes, if you know me, which you don't. But if you did, then you'd know I draw. You'd know I draw. I, uh, fucking... I'm, uh, writing on a, a comic about an alligator in Miami who is a detective. And I will talk about this later, uh, fucking... And, and you, you all know what investigator is. You, y'all, y'all fucking, you, you know. I accidentally said y'all, by the way. I literally hate people who say y'all. I didn't mean to say it. I'm sorry. Uh, say you guys. You guys is the best fucking, like, the fucking you guys is, like, sick. Uh, but yes, I draw, I draw, I want to, well, I'm going, I'm drawing a comic, and I draw other things as well. And, uh, yes. Uh, fucking sick. So, uh, yep. I, uh, draw, and I'm going to be talking about my comic later in this podcast, so skip ahead to the time on screen. Just kidding, lol, I will never not, I will not edit this. So, uh, that was a joke. People say that on YouTube, the joke is that I said it, even though it's not going to be there. That's, like, fucking, like, <laughs> really funny. Um, I submit, oh, whoa, what? It fucking, it, whoa, you it didn't give me any more questions. It fucking, what? All right, yeah, I fucking, hold on, let me, uh, let me get let me fucking see where more questions are on this shit. All right, I found more questions, I think. Uh, probably not, though. Are you ready to slow down and get married? Uh, d- n- uh, no, I don't want to do that, except I do want to do that. I want to be a dad one day. Uh, uh, th- <laughs> fucking good luck on that. Uh, regardless of future plans, what's more interesting to you right now, sex or love? Uh, d- uh, fucking, uh, th- neither, really. I don't really, I'm not really romantically interested in anyone. And I know that I, like, I say, like, I hate sex a lot, and it was beginning of this podcast where I said that, but it's not actually true. Well, I actually, it kind of is true. I, actually, yeah, it is true. It is true. It's a little bit played up, but I don't really like it. It's not really cool. I don't think it's, like, cool or anything, but I also don't hate it, and, you know, like, sick. Uh, and same thing with love. Fucking, I mean, it's cool, but I don't know. It's not very interesting to me. Uh, how willing are you to meet people on? Oh, okay, Cupid. Uh, fucking stop. Uh, uh, not really. What best describes your political beliefs? Um, 
I would say I'm like a like I don't like to, to say like oh I'm a Democrat or like oh I'm a Republican for numerous reasons. The reason number one is gay. Uh, I don't like to like. There's no reason to identify with one or the other because it's not like like all your opinions are going to be d Democratic or all of them are going to be Republican. Like you're always going to have different stances on each issue, and it's retarded to like align all with one just for the sake of being able to, like fit into a gay, a gay club that's like gay and like gay and like it's like really gay. Um, also, when you're in like a mentality like that, it's really easy to just like throw shit at the other person just because they're not on your team, even though. Uh, that's it's it, it's it's politics it's fucking much more nuanced and important than dude like my team's like fucking like better dude like holy shit um but obviously like i do have like like i like i am more liberal than i am conservative on most issues but i'm always like i like i just i look at each individual thing and then i decide on that thing specifically what i feel and then sometimes it's conservative and sometimes it's liberal and fucking you know i'm i'm in the middle a lot i fucking i'm really close to that the one the you know the thing with the grids and like the four squares i'm like in the middle except i'm a little, i'm like down in the middle i'm like down in the middle and to the left a little bit down in the middle and to the left that's me uh, fucking sick. Uh, yes. Uh, fucking, what? Fucking skip. It's sick. Um, did you ever date someone who does drugs? Well, I'm gonna take this to mean, would you, like, be cool with someone who do drugs? Yeah. I mean, I, all the PCP does drugs. That's a joke. By a joke, I mean I'm just retarded. I think, well, only Gigi's ever done a weed? Probably more. Probably, probably far more. Probably, actually, no, yeah. All the PCP do drugs constantly. It's, it's like sort of like their thing. I mean, where do you think the, 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 the PCP came from, Mike? Sick. Uh, yes. Would you ever consider sleeping with someone on the first date? Uh, I fucking retired a question. Uh, no, so uh, maybe, uh, but only if I liked sex and also romance with her. I both don't do that. <sighs> I'm talking very fast. Would you ever consider having an open relationship? Uh, no, retarded. Actually, it's it's not retarded, but it will. Yeah, but I, like, uh, fucking Jesse makes a good point. Uh, actually, uh, I don't even know if that even is his. I just, like, remember something about that. I'm just, I'm just going to assume that he likes open relationships. I think he said that once, but, he, but I'm probably wrong. Jesse, please don't get mad at me. I'm sorry. Jesse doesn't think that. Jesse doesn't think anything. Jesse is just an amalgam of, of, of organs. He's an organ monster. Stop Jesse from stealing my organs. In relationship, who do you really be taller? I I like to be tall, I think. I think I'm okay with it. I don't... I like... People are taller than me, and I'm okay with that. But I like to be tall, I think, because it's, like, easy to, like, grab things. And it's cool. But I don't really care who's taller than me or who's not. Uh, say you've started seeing someone you really like as far as you're concerned how long will it take you before you have sex stupid question that i don't know the answer to because i hate both of those sex and romance choose the bear i already answered this fucking paris and shit it's fucking stupid rate your self-confidence this ties back into the conversation that i was going to have at the start of this and then i decided not to because it's literally fucking gay uh i have like let me think um, okay, I've decided, I uh, looked at the data, uh, very high, uh, no instances where I'm, uh, not happy, or not happy, have self-confidence. Let me fucking blow my nose. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, okay. Like, like, it's very easy for me to, like, talk to people, and then, like, 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 if I'm like, if something doesn't go my way, then I'll be like, oh, hey, fucking LOL, haha. And then, uh, fucking, uh, there's no situations where, like, I, I don't know, like, like, I just, like, I'm just going to let people walk over me. But I'm also, like, 
like, I'll never, like, let someone, like, fucking clearly take advantage of me, but I'm pretty, like, passive in the sense that, like, if someone wants to do something and I don't have, like, a, like, I don't have a stake one way or the other, then I'll, u- I'll usually, like, let people do everything, and then if someone's like, uh, what are you saying, and I'll be like, uh, 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 that's not entirely true, though, because sometimes I take an issue and, uh, I just do things myself when I'm sometimes deleted, like, uh, fucking sick. Like, a. My IRL friends, who I hate, I hate all of them. Ever since I became a member of the PCP, I just, I've just i realized that I hate all of my fucking friends. None of them are cool. But uh, all of them, I, I'm usually the only one to, like, organize hangouts and stuff. Like, none of them will fucking do anything. So I... Is that even... Is that... Is self-confidence, does that have anything to do with that? I guess not. Am I confident? Yeah, yes. I think I'm cool. I don't think I'm the best guy. I don't think I'm the worst guy. I think I'm above average in every way. Except for, like, looks, I guess. But I don't really put a lot of, like, importance on shit like that. Like, like, like I realize what I'm good at and what I'm not good at. And things that I'm not good at, I coincidentally don't care about. And therefore, I don't care about getting better at said things. Uh, yes sick next question how important is money slash wealth for you in a match uh th- like so like do i care about like money um no uh i mean the goal is just for to like live and to like live also like it's not just like to get a lot of food and then eat it and then sleep and then be alive it's like to me it's like you do that and then also just like just occasionally be able to like buy a video game system except i don't hey i actually hate video games that was a bad example like fly to fucking uh, virginia beach and kill digi bro that's what i want to do uh, so i would like to have normal person amounts of money and that's my goal for that except that wasn't the question at all so i don't even know why i said that how important is money for you in a match like how do i get like no one else like i don't care if like i don't know is this asking like like do i care if people are poor i don't like it when people are poor because then i feel like they're sad which they usually are and i don't like that so um very important if you don't have money fuck you <laughs> sick that's definitely what i meant to say sick um what's the most exciting thing about getting to know someone new i uh, fucking asking all the like just asking all the questions like these questions like asking these questions to other people is interesting i find this interesting uh, to other people is probably m- 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 mundane and weird and gay it's not weird you know, but to the gay it's like ah oh, but like yawn you know, right but I, I fucking like it i like to know weird quirks about other people because it makes them feel more three-dimensional and not flat characters like me like monkey jones the most flat character ever produced Fuck monkey, I'll kill him. Except I, he's really cool and I like him. Uh, which is better for uh, uh, the better relationship? Uh, passion or dedication? Um, hmm. So I can take this to me like, like a relationship of any kind. Like... Like what? Like what? What do the east of these mean? I need like I need like a little asterisk to explain both of these like in context to me. Like, dedication to a relationship, like, like as in, like, you will take, like, like you will always be there for your friend, and then you will, uh, fucking, uh, are you drunk and shitting on your dick? Then I'll help you, let me clean that off. Oh no, I got some of the shit into my eyes, and now I'm blind. Fuck you, bitch. That's a really good friendship right there. But then passion would also just mean that, so, uh, I don't know. Uh... I like the word passion, so I'm gonna go with passion. Do you enjoy these? Act- uh, do you enjoy intense intellectual conversations? Uh, I mean, I just record like like the last two PCP of this recording were both like fucking uh, pretentious retard discussions. One of the first one was like literally a meme, and the second one was like a little bit of meme, but uh, not as much as the first one. The first one was literally like a joke episode, like a joke character. Um. What was the question? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I do. I, th- I think I think it's healthy. I think I think it's nice to like ponder philosophical questions every every every, every once in a while. Uh, I, I get I think I get bored and uh, a little bit I, I don't like them after like a little bit. Like if I do too many in like one sitting, then I feel like all right, fucking whatever, you know, big boy, you fucking big britches, stop trying to use your brain. You just play my favorite video game. What's your favorite video game? My favorite video game is don't have one. Don't uh, I like all the video games ever made? Uh, fucking uh, the question. Uh, yes. Uh, fucking shit. <laughs> Oh, fuck, there's so much mucus in my fucking mouth. Hold on. <coughs> so much mucus. I'm a, I'm a fucking gross boy. Except I... <coughs> uh, would you prefer good things happened or interesting things? Oh, interesting, of course. Of, co- of course interesting things. Um... I talked about this to people. I don't know if I said this out loud. I think I said this like at Radcon just to people. But uh, Seinfeld. I actually I think that I said this on uh, conventions. I did the podcast about conventions. But I literally like, like I'm completely fine with like bad things happening to me within reason, of course. Like like if they're just like interesting and they're like a good like story. And I just think like I, I I'm always thinking about my life and like, like I always feel like I'm a character. In, in a TV show. And I'm thinking, hmm, is, is this episode interesting? Or is this episode, like, gay and, like, boring and, like, gay and, like, an episode of, like, Friends or Frasier? A.K.A. shit. Sorry if, like, Friends or Frasier, but uh, I hate you. Uh, I want an episode to always be, like, Seinfeld and that it's either funny or interesting or just cool or, like, aesthetic because Seinfeld's fucking aesthetic. Um, so, yeah. Uh, fucking... Yeah, so so I, I'm fine with things, bad things happening with me. I, I, I'm able to shrug them off, like, almost instantaneously. Unless it's, like, a like a deeply, like, personal issue and, like, fucking, like, fucked up shit happens. But usually that's not the case. Usually I, like, stub my toe. I'm like, mm, Larry David, you fucking cruel god, you bitch. Uh, and I'm trying to, like, wouldn't nuclear war be exciting? No, it would it would mean the end of fucking society. Well, fuck you, okay, Cupid, you fucking retard. Nuclear wars, like, this, the nuclear war is, like, the scariest fucking thing ever. Everyone type in Nina uh, 99 Luf, uh, Luf Ballons and listen to that shit. It's my, one of my favorite songs. It's not a joke. I really like that song. Are you a cat person or a dog person? I, I like dogs a little bit, but I like... I own a lot of dogs. By I own, I mean my family does, and I'm in their immediate proximity a lot. I think they're, like, cool. I like, I like dogs. I think they're nice. But, like... I don't know. I'm not that into them. They're cool, and I'll probably have like 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 I'll, I'll probably buy a dog in the future, but only like one, and then I'll like train it to be not gay. And yeah, a uh, dog is like the only pet I would only like I would ever consider having. All the other ones seem weird and hard, and uh, yeah. But uh, do I like. All in all, though, I like animals. I would just only, like, have a dog. And then I would, yeah, all right, sick. I like animals. They're cool, but they're not that cool. Do uh, spelling mistakes annoy me? Uh, no, I'm fine with uh, spelling mistakes. I'm, I'm fine with people who uh, can't uh, fucking read or type it. You fucking digibrony. Fuck, I hate that guy. I fucking hate him. It's a fucking digibrony. Have you ever traveled around the, another country alone? Another country. I've traveled alone this country before, but another country, no. I've, I've only been in another country once, and that was when I was like a little baby. I went to Mexico. Funny story. Uh, oh, okay. I actually went to Mexico two times. And then the first time, uh, I live. I live in a place in the United States. I think I've already said where I live. Why am I being secretive about it? I live fucking near the border. And in Southern California, and uh, I live a little bit close to Tijuana. It's like a little bit, like it's like a like an hour or a drive away, I think. And uh, one time I went there, and uh, well, I, I should say me and my mother went there, and I was like uh, fucking like ten, I think. And this fucking I don't know. I mean, it's opera. I think it's obvious, right? Like I'm I'm of mixed descent. Like, but fuck, I'm a fucking mud. The not a mud slime. I'm a fucking what's the word? I'm half spick. And then, uh, fucking, she, this, this, she, this fucking brings me into Tijuana, 
and fucking forgets my passport. So it just looks like I like when I was a little kid, I looked I looked really Mexican. And the only reason I don't know is because my I, I'm like stay inside all the time, and so I'm like pale. Uh, so like like if I was time tan, I'd be really Mexican. But uh, so so fucking I like the, like the guards like she just he just sees like this fucking little Mexican kid and this white woman who's just like oh yeah I don't want to have this guy's passport, but trust me, it was fucking sick. And um, he was like he like he was like raised his eyebrow, and then we were like gulp. Uh, but it all turned out okay, and, uh, he was just like, uh, fucking, I believe you, but, uh, don't do this shit again, fag. And they were like, okay, uh, really interesting. And uh, then the next time, uh, we, I fucking, I went to, uh, uh, what's the fucking place? Uh, there was, like, an arch, and there were, like, water, and, and it was, uh, cool. I liked it a lot. Uh, sick. Uh, skip. And by, whenever I say skip, I mean the next question, because I don't want to actually, like, answer it on okay, keep, I just want to get the decoy. I fucking sick. Um. Do you often find yourself worrying about things when you have no control over? Yes, a lot. Uh, I like to be in control of things. I like to... I, I think I like to be, like, important to most things. If, if I feel like I want to be in, an important guy that's, like, instrumental to uh, the process of doing something, it makes me feel good and important, and, like, yeah, I like to be popular and stuff. Uh, so, um... Well, I, I mean, like, I'm not gonna, like... I don't stress over issues, usually. In fact, very rarely, unless it's, like, only really, like, out, like, when it, will I, like, oh, I have to finish this fucking commission by, uh, in a little bit, because then they'll get mad at me if I don't finish. And that's only happened, like, once or twice, so, uh, it doesn't really happen there. Ooh, okay, uh, kill me, um, so, uh, yeah, uh, a little bit, but, uh, not too often, uh, a little bit, I'm in control, but not that two days, see, it, it's, it's okay. Which of the following types of intelligence do you value the most? A logical, mathematical, uh, social, impersonal, or visual, artistic? Um, those are very arbitrary uh, demographics. Um, I would say, like, the most I value either social or artistic. But I really like people who are like actually who are like actually smart and like know things. I think that's really cool. Uh, so I value all of these things. But if you really want to impress me, be, uh, be interesting and like do things. That's not work. And by not work, I mean create things, or just be like a nice person. That's how you win me. Or be funny and stuff. Uh, but if you were, like, really smart, then you would wow me like that, and it would be, okay, fucking next question. Um, what's your relationship with marijuana? Fucking never done it, uh, it probably won't, uh, in the foreseeable future. What's your, what's your deal with harder drugs, stuff beyond pot? A fucking weird question, and also the same as before. Are you a vegetarian or vegan? Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to, to ever meet a vegan or a vegetarian, even though I've met a few and they're all nice people, and they're not pretentious at all, like the meme goes. But I fucking uh, I still fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. Should evolution and creation be taught side by side in school? No, a uh, creationism is literally a meme. It's a it's a fucking like a literally like like a like a like a shitty meme, a, a bad. Do you think homosexuality is a sin? No, I'm not retarded. For you personally, for you personally, is an abortion an option in the case of accidental pregnancy? Uh, uh, of course, why wouldn't it be? I'm really turning out to be like the most liberal person ever. Like those those three questions in quick succession, where uh, pretty fucking blue pilled, <laughs> pretty fucking blue pilled. If I do say so myself. Uh, once you're intimate, how often would you and your significant other have sex? Uh, I don't know. It's I haven't thought about that because I'm not really like interested in sex. But if I guess if I were to be in a romantic relationship, which I also don't uh, care about, then and if they would like sex, I guess I would be okay with it. I guess as long as it didn't take too many times on my day to fucking study alligators. <laughs> Sick. Uh, if you don't do anything at all for an entire day, how does it make you feel awful? 
I hate that doing things. Even if it's just simple things like hanging out with my buddies or just watching a show. Like, like, like if I'm just doing nothing, I feel bad, obviously. But I think it means, like, like you have to always be, like, creating or, like, doing, like doing, doing something. Uh, I still feel bad, but, like, I don't feel that bad. Like, I'm pretty laid back. I don't, I don't feel like I'm on a timer for anything. I feel like I can do anything at my fucking own pace. Uh, would you need to sleep with someone before you considered marrying them? A weird question that doesn't really apply to me. Uh, uh, I, 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 yes, though, probably. Are you kinky? Gross. Uh, fucking bad question. Do you? How often are you open with your feelings? Always. I never like to hide my feelings, really. Uh, the only the certain times when I like I know that they'll like 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 almost all the time like just stating how you feel will be like other other person will be like oh I didn't know let me take this and this and this into account now thank you for telling me your feelings I'm fucking rational uh, and when I'm talking to the unrational people then I'm like hey, I'll hide it but almost all the time people like just don't understand what you're feeling so you have to say it and then it's like it's not. Hard, there's no hard feelings on either side it's just like oh okay i understand now okay, cool thank you uh not talking about your feelings is literally retarded and gay and fucking it should be abolished like slavery it wasn't because i liked i owned slaves could you date someone who's really quiet uh sure i guess i mean actually hmm i mean the only quiet person i know is ethan who is my co-host on most streams which i don't do in many streams anymore because i uh, fucking who cares uh uh, I fucking, like, and by the, the fucking date, I mean just uh, the hang out with, uh, I mean, I don't know, the quiet people are okay, but I like loud and show business type people a lot, so I admire that, but I guess I would, I like, I don't have a problem with hanging out with quiet people, um, yes. How often do you keep your promise? Actually, fucking, all right, stop that question. Let me go back to the last question. Being shy is different from being quiet, though. Being, being around shy people, I, I know a little bit of shy people, and, and like, it, I don't want to make blanket statements or anything, but uh, every shy person's bad. That was a joke, haha. Uh, but yeah, uh, like, like, I don't really like people who are, like, overly shy or, or, or constantly second-guess themselves. Like, like I know I know a specific person, and a few people like that, that just always are like, mm, is this the right decision to make? Like, oh. and then they like don't do anything of the things that make them happy, and they're always just think they're a burden on other people. When the only thing that's making them a burden on other people is how often they just are consumed with their own fucking feelings. I feel like a lot of the time, like shy people or people who have anxiety. Oh, I, it's, this sounds really fucking gay and shitty, but just are just too wrapped up on themselves, and are just don't have a lot of uh, perspective, and also, uh, fuck it, they're all nice people, and I like them all, uh, good on you. Sorry you uh, don't uh, realize you're cool, but also it's pretty annoying. So, uh, yeah. How often do you keep your promises? Uh, fucking, I always try. Uh, I, I never just openly uh, not do that a lot. Uh, to fucking I'm pretty trustworthy, yes. And there's a requirement that you communicate every day with your significant other. Uh, I, I'm going to take this question to mean how often do you need to talk with your friends? Uh, I like to talk to my friends all the time, uh, but I realize, like, that that's, like, they, first of all, they're busy. I'm busy. We're not always going to have time to talk. And also, it's it's nice to just, like, not have to, like, oh, I have to always tell this person about everything. Like, sometimes it's nice to just experience it and not make, like, a story out of your daily life. Uh, so, uh, I would like to talk to them uh, this, uh, regularly, but not every day. Which of these is most likely to make you nervous? A promising first date and an important interview? Uh, make you nervous. Uh, to fucking... I don't know, I only get nervous a lot. Like... Like, like, whenever, like, like, whenever, like, something that would make me nervous, I just think, okay, I'll just prepare more for that, and then I don't feel bad at all. I guess if, if something were to make me nervous, it would be, like, the interview, because, like, my soul depends on it. Like, if I don't eat, then I will die, and I will become an evaporated soul corpse. So that, I guess. 
do you have to make jokes to defend more uptight people? Uh, f- uh, yes. I do fucking, uh, I'm a gay nigger from outer space, lol. Uh, what is your preferred cuddling position? Weird. First of all, also a big spoon. Because uh, I, I like to hug pillows when I'm asleep. Like in the fucking. There was one picture of fucking at Radcon where Nate took a picture of me and I was sleeping. And I was just hugging a pillow and it was really embarrassing. And uh, fucking, uh, fuck you, Nate. Fuck you. Uh, could you date someone who already has children from a previous relationship? A uh, weird uh, question uh, to fucking, uh, I guess. I don't know. I, I, would, I don't know how to. But maybe. How do you feel about documentaries? Okay, the, the, okay, this is, like, a straightforward question, but the weird, like, like, the, like, it's, all, all these questions are, like, multiple choice on the website, and these are really, like, weirdly specific responses. How do you feel about documentaries? Yay, exclamation point, okay, no punctuation, or capital N-O, no, period. Like, like, is, is this really such, like, a divisive thing? Are, are documentaries, like, really, like, contest, like, fucking contested a lot? I don't know. I I love documentaries. I fucking I like to watch them all the time. They're fucking they're cool. Uh yeah. Uh, yay. Uh, yay. I like to watch history documentaries first uh, a lot. I like to watch I like history. That's the thing about me you may or may not have known. I like to do uh, history. I really like history. I like to study history. I like to learn about history. I like to fucking talk about history. Um, my favorite, uh, era of, of, is, like, the early, like, like, the, like, in, like, like, later half of the 1800s up until uh, now, as, uh, cause that's when history actually, like, uh, happened, and it was interesting, and the rest before that is, like, yeah, except it's not, I actually like it a lot still, but yeah, you know, sick, bro. Uh, fucking, yeah. And World War One. if you want to get more specific, I really like to learn about World War One. it's cool. I really like history. A fucking, uh, fucking, it's, a uh, sick. Uh, fucking, yeah, cool. If you had to name your greatest motivation in life thus far, what would it be? Love, wealth, expression, knowledge. My greatest motivation. Um, expression. Yeah, yeah, expression. I want to be able to make myself known, but, and make myself known even more than what I said before is that I make myself known uh, and be important and cool and sick and sick and sick. Do you believe morality is universal or relative? Relative. It always depends on the situation and the person doing it and what they've been through and what they're doing and sick. Would you consider dating someone who has vocalized a, st- a strong negative bias towards a certain race of people? Or would I date a racist? Uh, no, probably not. I'd actually, 100%, I'd know, I wouldn't. Do you ever uh, Skype slash call slash video chat a d- or a date? Wait, do you ever a date? Fucking, w- would I ever be in a Skype call with someone uh, f- to fucking date? I'd uh, fucking, I, I don't know, is, uh, I guess. If I were to be a romantic guy, which I'm not, then I would want it to be, like, around me. The people would be in, like, a fucking offline, and I would be able to, like, walk up to them and say hello. Uh, but, uh, fucking, well, you know, I, I hear that love doesn't work that way, and that you may fall in love with someone who's, like, a million miles away. Uh, so that's, uh, fucking, uh, too bad. I'm so sad. Should burning your country's flag be illegal? Fucking, what a stupid question. Of course it shouldn't. Uh, retarded. Do you believe your country should be allowed... Wait, do you believe your country should... Uh, your country would be more or less safe if every adult owned a gun? Uh, that's a pretty complicated issue, and uh, my knee-jerk reaction would say uh, no, I guess. Or less safe? I don't know, though. I don't know that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe more safe. Uh, fucking, I don't have a stake in this issue. Do you believe that contraception is morally wrong? Fucking, let me Google search what contraception is. I mean, I, I, I basically know what it is, but I want to make sure I'm not fucking fucking things up. This is how little I know or think about sex a lot. Yeah, fucking sick. A uh, fucking, uh, fucking, uh, uh, fucking, uh, 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 okay, fucking, yeah, uh, it's fucking morally f- good and great. Uh, how often do you brush your teeth? Uh, never. 
Actually, I brush them right before I'm going to a dentist appointment, and then that's it. Uh, do you space out or daydream light? Uh, 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 I mean, okay, when I'm at my computer, no. But when I'm out and about and doing interesting things in the real world, and by real world, I mean uh, the offline world, uh, then I meet, uh, then I uh, constantly, because I, I used to daydream about being at the computer and what I want to do when I get back home, because I fucking hate being out. Except I don't. I like being out. Just in certain situations, in certain, like like there are some situations where I'm like, oh fucking, I'm, I'm I don't want to be out right now. I just want to be home, but I have to do this one thing for fucking either for work or for fucking school or for fucking uh, whatever, just errands. And during those situations, then yeah, I daydream a lot, or whenever I'm like I'm like on like in the bathroom or anything like that, I daydream a lot. Whenever I'm like doing something that I am am joined to do, then I would never. Uh, that's probably how daydreams usually work, but uh, fucking yeah. There, there are plenty of times where I choose to go out, like like I want to, I want to walk, I want to go hang out with my friends and do this shit. Uh, so stuff like that, yeah, I don't daydream and I enjoy doing. So I like to be out in those cases. And uh, yes. Uh, which of these options most closely describes what you're looking for in your next relationship? Someone to come home to, someone to go out with, someone for tonight. Uh, I don't know. Weird. I don't know. I don't know. How important are your political beliefs to you? Certain ones are really important to me. Like, I, like I believe that everyone should be like, not be held into most things and should be allowed to do what they want to do and be like Gur and the Gone and stuff. So, uh, the, except the Gur and the Gone was about how you can't do it all you want all the time. Fuck you, Davu. So, uh, um. A uh, fucking uh, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, like one or two or maybe even three, but uh, the rest, no, I don't fucking give a shit. Is intelligence a turn on? Like a like a, it's not it's not a turn on. I just enjoy it when people are smart and not retards. Do you need a creative outlet to play? In? Yeah, uh, I, I, yes, I need one. I I need to be able to get my fucking IDs and uh, the cool shit out there. Have you ever had a sexual encounter with someone of the same sex? Uh, no. Actually, yeah, at Rycon 2, I, I was gang-banged by a bunch of homeless people. Not the PCP, just, 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 like, like, I, I went out for a walk and it happened. So, sorry, you, you, you can't cast it. I don't remember what they look like, but, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've been raped in canon, so put that on the wiki. Um, are you looking for a partner to have children with? Uh, I said earlier that I'd like to be a dad one day. But really, I think I just like the concept of, like, being able to, like, mold someone, as weird as that sounds. But a fucking, uh, d y yep, uh, shit that I just uh, found, not really. But if I were to have, like, a little brother, I guess that'd be cool. And by little brother, I mean I no, I have no parents, and I, I, I just, I, I just want, like, a fucking, like, a young person that I can fucking make me, but cooler. Uh, how often do you use social media? Uh, uh, all the time. I tweet a lot. What superpower would you rather have? Flight and invincibility. These are basic big shit. Uh, my 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 dream superpower would just to be would just to have Crazy Diamond from JoJo. If I just had that, then like I would be the happiest guy ever. I I I just want Crazy Diamond. That's the only superpower I would want ever. Like I would want ever. I just want Crazy Diamond. It, it, that's just the coolest thing, and I like to heal stuff. It's it's cool. It's it's nice, and uh, the uh, by sec. But other flight invincibility or invisibility, invisibility, because I like I can like seal shit. How long do your romantic relationships usually last? Never been in one. When it, which is bigger, the Earth or the Sun? Um, wait, this isn't really a, a matter of opinion. This is. The sun's bigger. You should know that. But, um, okay. I guess this has to appeal to retards. It's a damn website. Uh, if you were to die, who uh, would whoever goes through your personal belongings be shocked by what they find? Um, interesting question. No. I mean, I, I have a lot of, like, weird drawings. I don't know if they would be shocked. I mean, actually, yeah, they'd probably be shocked. There's a lot of, like, weird, like, like gay orgy shit that's, like, 
like a bunch of like buff dudes like fucking like pigs and shit it's not true but it is really funny actually yeah it is true actually um yeah so uh, i guess a little bit i don't know not really everything's pretty normal like like i don't i don't like own a lot of stuff i have like a couple posters like four i have an american flag and i have like two gaming systems and the rest are just clothes and like little tiny shit i got at cons i have like a few albums and all of them are like i mean they're like type of probably it's not like they're known bands but it's not like they're weird bands uh yeah if i can no not really but maybe a little bit uh do you keep a budget of your finances uh yeah i do i budget not a lot but I make sure to set aside things I need to set aside the things for and I always try and save money. Do you frequently do you frequently bathe or shower? Yes, I shower uh, at least every other day, but usually every day. Um, whenever I go for a day without showering, I feel like gross and slimy and weird. And, uh, fucking, so I put a lot. I shower a lot. I make sure my hair isn't gross, and uh, I make sure I put on clean clothes and I make sure I fucking uh, uh, smell good and stuff. Uh, yes. How do you feel about falling in love? Uh, fucking, I fucking, I don't know. It, it, it's it, it's cool. I'm not one of those people who like, ah, fucking being in love is like, it's like gay. It's like, it's just like a chemical reaction, bro. It's not fucking like real or anything. Even though a chemical reaction is like even more real than just like a normal, like, like whatever feeling. Even though all feelings are chemical reactions, but yeah, I think you, you know what I mean. Uh, I think it's like cool and it, I, it's, it's nice, but I don't feel like I would want that right now at least i'm not actively seeking it out or nor do i think it would make my life any better i so uh fucking uh cool but uh yeah do you like to cuddle a uh, fucking uh a weird bad question but also uh, uh i like to uh, hug uh, pillows as discussed earlier fuck you nate is smoking disgusting um i would say no but digi does it so uh yes uh, how open are you to trying new things in bed? I'm gonna cut off the in bed part of that. How open are you to trying to trying new things? Uh, I I just earlier the fucking a few days ago I got a trumpet. That's new. That's like I've never done an instrument before. Actually, that's a lie. I've done a uh, clarinet, but I only did that for like a fucking uh, like a year. I wasn't very good at it. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's it's pretty new and uh, fucking yeah, I like to do new things. I always like to do new things, but I also like to fall back on things that I can already do. Just when I don't really know what I want to do, I uh, fucking yeah, I like to do it. It's uh, fucking I always like to uh, learn. I always like to learn new things and uh, to actually do them. I don't really care about. Uh, how much influence or control do your parents have over your life? Uh, yeah, very little. Actually. Like, they have a lot of influence, but, like, control? Uh, my parent has never been like that. Like, 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 my parent, my parent is, like, literally just me, but a girl. Uh, but also, like, a not a gross. Except a, yeah, uh, fucking, yeah, so just uh, me, but a girl, and, and not gross and in her, like, uh, fucking 40s. Uh, it's uh, so yeah I'd fucking uh, what was I saying oh yeah but but so like they're they're pretty like uh, fucking just don't be gay and I'm like okay and then I proceeded to not be gay and then uh what was I saying oh yeah so it's not really like fucking like ah uh, fucking you gotta fucking do the shit you know uh but the, the like I want to like appease them so I'll be like uh, if they want me to do something then I'll fucking do it just because I'm not like an asshole. Uh, so I, I, I'm on good terms with them just because I do what they say because I'm, I'm a nice guy. Would you, for any reason, read your mate's email or pose as him slash her online without hit? No, that's that's fucking that's devilish. That's fucking awful. If you answer yes, that's fucking gross. Kill yourself. I just got a text. Fucking my friend, my fucking offline friends. Talking about their gay, stupid text chat that I made for them. I don't even want to be a part of because I fucking hate all of them. Why can't all my friends be creatives? Why, why, why can't they all, like, have a personality? They're all fucking bland and retarded. I hate them. One of them is literally just a wage cuck, and that's it. 
fucking despicable. Do you Google someone before a first date? Uh, I would probably, if I, actually, eh, nah, nah, probably wouldn't. Uh, are you smarter than most people? <laughs> um, I don't have a way to fucking judge that, I don't think. I don't, I haven't ever taken, like, an IQ test. Uh, uh I, I would think, maybe? I mean... Like, uh, fucking my family's always said, like, oh, you're so fucking smart, but that's just because they're my family. Like, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, I'm going to go with maybe slightly above smart people. I don't know how smart or how dumb normal people are. But if they're anything like the PCP fan chat, well, I tell you, I'm a retarded boy. I'm stupid. Uh, have you, are you attracted to uh, dangerous situations? Uh, what do you mean by this? Like, do I, do, do I like being almost eaten by a dragon? Uh, no. Like, like, no. I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I'm like a, like I'm a, I'm a thrill seeker in that way. I like to be like, I like it when fucking, uh, fucking shit's all like fucking, uh, I just checked my phone again because I thought it was. I'm gonna turn this off. If I can get by, oh goodbye phone. That shit I fucking die. Uh, cause I if I, what was I fucking uh, shut up, shut up, shut up. Next question. How important is it you that your partner smell good? Uh, I like it when people smell good. Uh, so um, I'll, I I yeah, yep. But then again, like like. I I have really bad olfactory centri- uh, sensors like 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 i i'm really like I won't, I'll, I'll never be the one to be like oh p you fuck, fuck, what's this place smell like i'll be like uh it smells like everywhere because everything smells the same i can't pick up small things but it's uh, it's fucking I, I i i like because i'm so fat i can i like i only pick up like food like what food smells like in that it's basically it so uh, i don't really care but uh, if you smelled nice that would be cool i guess uh, whatever not really super interesting to me. How long after you've started dating someone do you follow them on social media? Uh, instantly, if I were to be doing such a thing. Are you careful with your money? Yeah, a little bit. How often do you meditate? <laughs> I, 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 I gotta keep that Christ consciousness up. So yeah, every day, bro, I gotta fucking align those chakras. Uh, but and by that I mean I never, I've never done that before. Fun fact: uh, my parent is is like is like a fucking retard and like super into like oh, f- fucking. I, I, I am I am Christ consciousness. I I I fucking I you gotta align your chakras. You fucking Christ consciousness. Like like they actually believe that. Well, not really. They well, no, they actually believe that. Yeah, they do. If 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 one of your potential matches were overweight, would they be a deal breaker? No, I like to talk to fat people. They're fine. Your significant other's ex is coming into town, and she wants to go out to dinner with them alone. I would, uh, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, a little weird, but uh, okay. Uh, do you have a problem with racist jokes? Ah, uh, fucking, of course not, you fucking nigger. Shut the fuck up. Uh, should healthcare be funded by the government? Uh, I don't know. It's out of my league. It's like the gun control crap thing. Fuck are you, been saying. Um. How often do you get Facebook updates? I I, I have a Facebook, uh, and, and like 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 last year, my entire family was like, ah, we're gonna get on Facebook, even they're all they're all like fucking like one hundred years old. And then I was like, uh, uh, sure, I'll do that too. And then I was like, oh, my family is actually bad, except they're not. I like all of them. They're just not. I wouldn't ever get on there for any reason. Should um Mex- uh, should the U.S. build a wall around Mexico? <laughs> if I can build that wall, <laughs> build that wall, <laughs> build that wall. It actually, uh, no, that's retarded. Do you think uh, women should have an obligation to keep their legs shaved? Uh, fucking no, I don't care. 
Would you ever consider making a sex tape with your partner? Uh, no, that'd be weird. Are you a Christian? Uh, no, that's weird. How do you feel about kids? Uh, they're cool. Alright, okay, okay. Th this what this question is like specifically like, oh, the the question the the answer is like kids are precious. Like they're okay. Or, like they're revolting. Uh, I I I really like kids. I think if there's ever a bad kid, he's obviously just a reflection of how his parents are sort of not doing the, the correct things. And then you're gonna be like, oh fucking, but they're bad kids and their parents are so nice. Uh, it's because their parents are too nice. And then they're letting their kids do bad things. You gotta fucking teach kids what's right and wrong. And so you don't have to do that in like a mean way. You have to do that and be like, hey, you're being gay right now. I think kids are far more agreeable than most people take give them credit for. And if you're just patient and also just not retarded, then you'll be able to have fucking make a good guy. I like to be around kids, and it's nice. How important is it for you to make physical contact when showering? Affection. Wait. Oh, fuck it. Sorry, I'm gay and I'm, I'm barfing. Uh, How important is it for you to make physical contact when showing your affection for someone? Um, I really like to give hugs. I really like that. I think it's nice. I also like to give handshakes and stuff. Uh, I mean, it's not super important, but I like to hug people and handshake people. That's that's, that's pretty much where, I, where it ends, though. I don't like to, like, touch people. Unless it's someone's beard. I like to touch people's beard and uh it, yeah it, like but once though and then never again because it's like weird but i, I don't know it's okay, cool uh, for one time uh so it, it, but a little bit important but not too bad what in tarnation are you doing to my frog stop murdering my frog it's the only frog i have and when i fucking uh yep i'm the cowboy i like frogs um, this is the new magic character. I am the cowboy, and I like frogs. I like frogs. That's why we say frogs. I say frogs, and I really like frogs. I'm, I'm basically a Japanese jungle boy with frogs. Now I'm a cowboy. But put that in the wiki. Uh, do you enjoy finding out things? Uh, finding out what makes things work the way they do. Yes, I like to learn things. Have you ever smoked a cigarette in the last six months? No. I prefer to sleep alone with my partner, uh, touching my partner, embracing, cuddling my partner. I like to sleep hugging pillows. Fuck you, Nate. Do you believe guns should ever be allowed in the school? A fucking complicated issue, but in the school specifically, uh, probably not. I don't see why they would, but uh, maybe they need that to, to do whatever they want to do. Uh, fucking, yeah. In a relationship, I like to discuss politics with my partner. Uh, fucking, I win it, like, I don't like to bring it up. Like, I would never bring up my politics, like, unannounced ever. I would be retarded. But if someone asks, I would probably be like, oh, okay, this is what I think. But uh, you're probably right, except I would not say you're probably right, because I'm, my opinions are also as valid as they are, so I would just be like, okay. Uh, what's worse on a first date? No physical attraction? Nothing to talk about. Nothing to talk about. Obviously, I like I don't fucking I don't care if you look pretty as long as you're like cool to talk to. Would it be okay if your significant other is spending a lot of time with one of their or his exes as a friend? Uh, no, eh, fucking whatever. How do you think your sex drive compares to what is typical for other people? Wait, how do you think your sex drive compares to what's typical of other people of your age and gender? Uh, probably much lower. I mean, the whole meme is that, like, a fucking a, a, a teenager boys like to have sex. I don't really like to have sex. I don't really care. So I guess slower than what is normal. So, uh, yes. How important, how important is it that your partner be willing to participate in meaningful philosophical conversations? Uh, pretty, yeah, pretty important. I mean, like, like... I wouldn't mind if they don't want to talk about like it like if they just don't talk about it a lot but like you need to be able to talk about it just like be able to I would think it's not like I want to talk about it a lot you know, just you gotta not be stupid you know uh, how are you most likely to show your partner you care words actions gifts touch uh, words I like to give, like, Steven Universe-esque speeches, even though they are weirdly awkward in real life and not accurately uh, good. 
uh, is art important to you? Yes, a lot. I like to do art, I like to consume art, and uh, fucking yeah. How many children would you ideally like to have? At one to two, or three to four, or five or more, or none, uh, one to two. Can anything be made the subject of a joke? Yeah, anything can. Of, of course. You fucking nigger. You fucking, you fucking wop. You fucking, uh... Hey, by the way, guys, this is actually really important. Send me what you think I should call, like, white people. Like, like what racist term? Because I, I really can't come up with one. And I genuinely think that there should be one for white people. Like, there should be one for every race. So, uh, fucking, uh, yeah, send me what you think I should call white people who I hate. Uh, do you put more weight in science or faith? Science. Faith is, uh, dog shit. Do you think drug use with your partner could be a romantic activity? A fucking uh, weird and uh, also uh, probably not as weird. How often do you masturbate? I'm not going to answer that. Uh, who are you most likely to reveal a dark uh, provocative secret to? Um, anyone who asks. Actually, nah. Like, if you're in the PCP fan chain, you want to ask me, oh, yeah, do, 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 I would be like, ah, oh, fuck off and die. But if, like, if you're, if you are, like, my friend, and you're like, hey, what do you think about X, Y, and Z? I'll be like, I want to kill myself. Except I don't, because I'm not suicidal, I'm not depressed, that's not a joke, I'm not depressed, I'm not depressed, I'm happy. Uh, how frequently do you go out for, of your way to make others feel appreciated? Um... I don't know how often it shows, but I like to think I do it s semi-regularly. I like to make people feel good, so uh, whenever that shows its face, I will do it uh, fucking uh, bad. I, I always feel like I'm uh, being really mean, and I don't try and be mean. I, I like uh, all of the people who I know, except for the ones that I don't. And if you if I don't like you, then you know, you know who you are, and if you think that I like you, well, then you're fucking right. Are you okay with people who gr uh, grow marijuana for their personal use? Uh, th uh, yeah, I don't care. Will you date someone just for the sex? Uh, fucking, uh, n uh, no. How important is uh, potentials match his sense of humor to you? Uh, it's fucking very important. I like people who are funny. But I don't think being funny is everything. I think you can be a good guy and not be funny. You can not be a lick of funny. You can be a really dry and uh, not a uh, kind of deadpan kind of guy. But uh, I will still think you're funny because a, either you do art that I like or that you're just like nice and just uh, cool and uh, good. As long as you think I'm funny, you can be funny or not. As long as you think I'm funny, then fucking you're sick. If uh, you like someone a lot, do you usually ask them out? Uh, fucking, I've never liked someone a lot, and I've never, I've never liked a girl a lot uh, ever before in my life. Do you? Uh, and so I would never ask. So I haven't asked them but one out. Uh, yeah. Do you think big is beautiful? What the fuck does that mean? Do I think big is beautiful? Do I think like? Do I think? Do I think big? Do I do I think about the big picture? Do I think that is admirable? Uh, yes, but I doubt that's what it's asking. Uh, yes, I like to think ahead. I like to plan. Not what it's. I don't know what it means. Which of you, which of the following best describes your typical demeanor? Cheerful, I have a positive outlook, meh, I have my ups and downs, annoyed the world sucks. Definitely not annoyed the world sucks, I'm very happy with the state of the world, except for a few minor things, like, uh, fucking, uh, uh, uh fucking, uh, like, fucking, uh, like, uh, it, I might die at any moment. I like that part. Uh, I'm, I'm cheerful, I like, uh, pretty much everything. There's not a lot of change, would change. Do you prefer sex rough or gentle? I didn't, uh, neither. Would you get upset if your partner flirted? Uh, wait, wait. Would you get upset if your partner flirted in front of you, like to me or to someone else? Uh, to someone else, I would be pretty annoyed. I think that would be uh, a weird, and uh, kind of uh, not good. But if it was to me, then I fucking uh, 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 yes. But also, I uh, again, I'm not a romantic guy. Are you super annoyed by people who are super logical? I, no, I, I, I think logical people serve a, a, a much better service to the world than I fucking do. Being a create guy. Did you join OkCupid okay just so you could find people to have sex with? Uh, n not the intention, uh, but, but I'm having sex with anyone in the audience right now. Uh, through their ears, I'm fucking... fucking <laughs>
Hopefully that was my jizz entering your ear. <laughs> You're pregnant now. A college level education is necessary, nice but not mandatory, unnecessary, a fucking unnecessary. Do you believe that men should be the heads of their households? Ed, Ned, no. Not any more than a woman should, or that a dog should, or whatever. I don't fucking think about things like that. I don't think there should be a head of the household. Uh, which is scary to reveal to a new partner. Your emotions, your body, neither, both equally. Uh, I'm pretty open with my emotions to everyone. Uh, so I guess my body, I, I don't, but I mean, you can see me. I'm a tangible person. So I don't really know what that means. Uh, fucking, I guess that would be like, a fucking, if you're like an internet guy. Like, and you're like, oh, okay, this is what I look like, here's my face. Uh, so I guess, no, I don't, uh, fucking, uh, whatever, I wouldn't be scared or anything. How often do things, you do, you do things out of spite, uh, fucking constantly. The idea of gay and lesbian couples having children is, uh, acceptable or not acceptable, uh, acceptable, uh, fucking, uh, why the fuck would I care? Join, do you enjoy meaningless sex, aka all sex? Uh, no. <laughs> Fucking hate sex. What's your opinion on the phrase, making love when it first is sex? What do you mean, what's my opinion? Fucking, uh, 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 it, it's a term. Uh, on average, uh, which best describes how often you get wicked drunk? <laughs> get wicked drunk is in all caps of this. That's fucking great. I, I never. <laughs> fucking term, bro. Orgasms are clearly the most important part of sex. I agree or disagree. I fucking, I will be, fuck you. Uh, do you believe in the power of prayer? Uh, fucking, of course. I get the Christ consciousness. And by that, I mean, no, I hate it. How often do you take it out on other people when you're having a bad day? I mean, once in a while. I don't usually have bad days, though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I don't usually take it out on people no matter what. If I do, then I'm being an asshole. And I don't like that. Uh, so, uh, no. Do you believe in God? Uh, no. Are you concerned by Trump's relationship with Russia? Why the fuck is this on OkCupid? I fucking, I don't care. Do you enjoy outdoor activities such as camping, hiking, or fishing? Uh, I enjoy outdoor activities such as walking to places and just being outside and looking at the sky a cut camping hiking or fishing specifically uh i haven't done either any of those things in a long time i think if i was someone like the thing is like if i was with a person who was enthusiastic about any of them i would be super into it because whenever someone's enthusiastic about something i'm instantly also enthusiastic about it so uh i could be but uh, right now it, no we picked it online school. I already discussed a yes. In terms of sex, how experienced would you, your ideal mate be? How experienced? Uh, fucking, uh, I don't care. If you could have a brilliant skill at something, what would you prefer? Something practical, something fun, something fun. After you stop peeing, <laughs> after you stop peeing, and by peeing I mean seeing some uh, someone romantically, do you stay with friends with them on social media? I, obviously not. Should there be stricter laws regulating harassment slash bullying online? Uh, no, I don't care. Is squirting sexy? I fucking... What is... Th no. No, why would you ask me that? You w Would you introduce someone you started seeing casually to your friends? Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, depends on the situation. Like, like in the future, uh, where I like uh, being romantic, it would uh, I would probably be like, yeah, this is cool. And then I'd be like, hey. Well, not like super hey, because uh, it's uh, kind of annoying. Uh, would you date someone who has HPV? <laughs> no. Actually, what's HPV exactly? This is where I show that I'm retarded. I, I assumed it was an STD, and yeah, it's an STD. So, uh, no. I would never date someone with an STD. In a serious relationship, uh, not, not that I don't fucking, uh, you STD guys, people are really cool, and uh, fucking, you know, yes, sorry you got fucked, dude. Like, I, I don't begrudge you at all, I think you're all, you're all nice people, uh, but I don't want to be fucked and die. So, sorry. 
In a serious relationship, do you feel like it's important to keep your significant other informed of the, the details to your day to day life? Uh, not particularly, but I think it's nice. Uh, if you were would to get married, would you want to marry your partner or to would you want your partner to change his or her name to yours? Uh, no, I would want them to make their own decision and to come up like what they decide. Personally, I don't fucking care for that entire practice. I don't really care. What's the highest level of education you've completed? So far, I've completed uh, what I've completed. I'm not going to tell you. Is there such a thing as having too many sexual partners? Uh, no, I don't care, as long as you don't have AIDS. Uh, does the idea of flipping a coin to make important life decisions appeal to you? No, that's literally retarded. How do you feel about golden... Oh my god, how do you feel with golden shadows? Fucking shut the fuck up and kill yourself. Would you ever consider being a part of a triple, a three-person couple? No, that's retarded. How much does physical attractiveness matter to you in a match? It, not at all, basically. Maybe like a little bit, but like, I don't know. Like, I don't have a problem with ugly people, really. As long as they're like cool. I, I mean, I would like someone who I think looks uh, pretty, but uh, whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me in friends. It doesn't really matter to me if I were to be a romantic guy, which I'm not. Do humans and modern primates, apes and chimps, share a common evolutionary ancestor? Uh, of course, the retard. Do you think the government should limit big chain stores to give small businesses a chance? What the fuck does this have to do with dating? I'd, 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 I guess. I don't care. I like to feel local and where I live, haha, <laughs> lol, digi, uh, fucking, but I, I don't really care. Uh, do you enjoy giving oral sex? Uh, no, I don't think I ever would like that, uh, no. Is your ideal match well off financially, or at least have someone who has high income potential? Uh, I don't care, no, I don't care. Is marriage a necessity for two people who love each other? Uh, no. Overall, has capitalism made the place a better world? <laughs> Fucking, uh, yes. Undeniably. Uh, why, okay, Cupid, however, is uh, what? Would you like to receive pain during sex? Uh, no. Is it possible for your partner to reveal too much information? What do you mean? Like... Like, if they said some, like, weird thing that I thought was like, oh, that's weird, I'd be like, ah, oh, you fucking shouldn't have told me that. Uh, no, no, I like to know things about people, and I would probably don't care. Would you ever consider dating someone whose who's religion or spirituality is their primary focus in life? N never in a million years. I wouldn't even want to talk to someone like that. Do you have any tattoos? Uh, no, and I don't really think I would ever like one, but not because of, like I don't like tattoos, just because I was like, I don't know. Uh, what would I get? Uh, I can't think of anything, so it, it, probably not. And then it's like, oh, do I? Would I always like that thing? Because it'll always be on my body. Uh, uh, uh. Do you litter? Uh, no, I try to never, and I very rarely do. And if it's ever, it's always on an accident. Would you be willing to date someone who plays video games for almost a day, almost every day for at least two hours? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean. Actually, of course, of course isn't, yes, but I don't know, I think, like, I think I do that, but it's always interspersed with doing things that I find interesting and cool, so I kind of justify it like that, but if, like, like, if this person was, like, only playing video games, then I, like, all my fucking friends, then I would kind of find that boring, but, uh, yeah. Uh, communism in concept Good or bad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end this section of the uh, questions because clearly, okay, Cupid is fucking retarded. So, um, hope you enjoyed uh, this 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 long play, this let's play of Okay Cupid. All in all, oh hey, I got I got one message. Hi, I'm Alice. I work here at Okay Cupid. Okay, it's a it's a bot. I got one like. Let's see who I was liked. Bye. A uh, fucking what? What the fuck is this? Alright, there's too many menus, it's too complicated, never mind, uh, fucking okay, Cupid, I give a zero, because it's fucking a dating website, and I, uh, I fucking hate romance, I hate sex, ha <laughs> ha sick. Alright, here's the new section of the, uh, fucking podcast, uh, fucking, uh, here, uh, here's what you uh, actually would probably care about if you know me. 
uh, investigator. W- what the fuck? Where is fucking investigator? You fucking hack. Uh, the question is, I'm fucking working on it. Don't be mean to me. Uh, uh okay. The reason why it's taking so fucking long, though, is because uh, investigator, as it is known now, is is like the third rewrite. See, okay. I've had the idea of like alligator detective for like easily like a year and a half to two years and it it, it's gone through a couple phases one of them uh like like a like like it was always going to be a comic but uh uh it it it, i like like it's been through like different plot lines you know like 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 and 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 it's been like oh sometimes it's gonna be like a pure kidnapping story sometimes it was like a like like a, a pure just like action thing, uh, and it's all been really fucking boring. I it it, the, it it every single incarnation of Investigator has gone like this. I fucking come up with a storyline, come up with characters, I write it all down, then I start writing the like 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 I would write down like like I would write down like basically like the plot synopsis. And then I'd be like, okay, that's what I want. And then I would start writing like the actual like script, so that I would then convert it into like a like a comic panel. Like like the process would be like a synopsis. Then I would like take like the first part, and then I would like make like a script, sort of screenplay kind of thingy. And I would convert that into like uh, comic panels, and then I would ink over the sketch of the comic panels. So I would always get to like the the, the script part, and then I'd be like, ah, uh, this is the most boring thing I've ever fucking done. And it wasn't because like the, the script itself just wasn't good which it wasn't a lot of the time but just because like the, like like i would eventually get so bored of like the entire like overlying plot that i'd be like i just can't fucking work with this uh so so that's why i i've been at the i've i have a lot of sketches that i'm thinking at right now phase for like a fucking like a half a year because it, it's always been like a different a different comic i've been writing the, mm-hmm. the entire time and the thing with me is like like uh, it's it's hard to find an idea that I want to stick. Is my my current idea for an investigator the one that I've 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 had for the longest, uh, comparatively to the other ones, and I think I'm I'm pretty fucking down with. Is is pretty long. I mean, like not that long. Probably like probably like the size of part two of JoJo. Long. This is pretty long for your fucking first thing. <laughs> But not like that long. Um. Actually, no, that is pretty long. But uh, fucking, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just want to make absolutely sure that I'm, I'm I'm like down with it. So I'm taking extra time in the in the writing phase, and I'm uh fucking and investigator will be out when it's out, dude. It 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 like it, it was a complete mistake to announce it at all, because that just that just builds hype, which I don't need for something that that's not gonna be out in the near future. And it, it's just and it just makes people think like ah oh, fucking Munchie what the what the fuck is that guy doing? Because in actuality like I'm I am working on Investigator, but it it is not a priority. For, well, it's not a huge priority for me. I do I do try and work on it every day, and it is like like I I do eagerly want Investigator to be out, and it is important to me. Uh, but it's not like like I, like I also do other things in the meantime. Uh, I just like to exist. I get money through doing commissions, so I like to do that. I, I, like, I like to draw far more than I like to write, and that's a that's a like that's a that's probably the major thing. Like, like I feel like like once I write down the pl- like like a good plot synopsis and I make my first script, then it'll it all be downhill from there because then I'll finally get like in a good writing groove and I'll be able to. Uh, actually draw and drawing to me is the best part of being like a comics guy is like i i love to draw and whenever i draw it's fucking bliss like I, i'm not like i'm not like a fucking like lee rage like i oh, fucking i can't get this arm right fucking i hate drawing ah! uh, i love to draw and the reason i draw is because i like to do it so uh, once I get like a, a script and then I'll be able to draw and be like ah cool and then I'll be able to write more scripts and it'll be easier it'll be, be uh, fucking sick, um, and uh fucking I have mentioned before I'm going to be doing a Nuzlocke but I'm going that Nuzlocke is like totally on the back burner right now uh, while I wait for Investigator to be uh, cooked, um I have a lot 
a lot of things planned for uh what I, like like right now is like the beta release of Munchie. Like like this is like fucking like Minecraft like beta like one point six. Like I, like I just added fucking like dogs, and by dogs I mean like a podcast on fucking the PCP channel. But uh like like Munchie one point will be when I release Investigator, and I have a lot of things planned for that day, the day that I release the Investigator. That is, I have a lot of different things i don't like i don't want to announce too many things like i just announced in those like and i was just i was talking about how i shouldn't have announced an investigator so i fucking i'll keep the other stuff but just to know i've i like there's a lot of things i want to be working on uh but investigator is the biggest thing and i'm going to be working on that and uh yeah, also there's a lot of fucking uh, uh well w- when i release everything they're gonna be like oh that's what i was working on that's what he was working on that's what it was uh, doing so uh yes um that's where uh, Investigator is coming. I'm um, fucking. Uh, it's uh, fucking coming along. It's. Uh, I am working on it. Um, send your love and support and your anger to uh, Munchy Wears Tiny Hats uh, uh, at gmail dot com. Uh, send me uh, how much you hate me for uh, not uh, doing my comic. Um, yes. Uh, uh, that's it. How do you end these? How do you how do you fucking end this shit? How do you end these depression chamber things? I've never actually watched one of these. Well, I, I've watched Tums, but uh, fucking he is good at like making videos and being entertaining, which I am too. But I don't know how to end things. I haven't been doing it for a while. Like he has. So um uh uh um I uh, here's I'm gonna blow a trumpet. Uh goodbye. <laughs>